Morning, guys. Morning. Today, I want to talk about the gearing my attunement stacking version and how to get the most damage out of it. However, before that, we'll just quickly take down an Aberrath here. And I have done quite a few Aberrath kills, so it won't really be doing much of the mechanics here. Just quick kill showcase the dps we are at right now it's gotten quite hilarious by now so let's talk about the gear a bit and over the overall changes of the character we have made wow my first two lp amulet is minus armor that is so mean ah not two lp four skills Wow, it's so badly. <laughs> it's nearly mineral of well, like holy fuck, is it bad? It does have ten percent mana, but whatever. <clears throat> Let's dive right into it. So, for bossing, one of the main changes I have made, or that I usually do, is stationary tornadoes. Very important for bossing. But the biggest change that someone on Reddit has. I talked me into was converting my maelstrom to physical for the chance to stun. Because while while stunning everything or uh, is a pretty good defense in itself, it does also stun Aberrath out of his attack animations. And Aberrath seems to have um quite a bit of damage reduction during some skills. So this pretty much stuns him out of damage reduction phases, which makes it possible to kill him so quickly with the DPS I do have right now. We have 132k when just standing around in human form, which is I eat a bit. But yeah, other than that, I haven't really changed much on the trees themselves. I'd love to have two more points from tornadoes, but currently that is not available. But I have tried a lot of different pieces and want to talk about what I'm using for the highest DPS version possible right now. So the biggest change is the Jura's ring from the normal clear setup because normally you would just run a red ring or two very defensive rings or just a human and resistances and everything because in this setup we have like bad resistances at all. And yeah, so you want two Joras. I use one with spell damage, one with a tune. Joras are quite a bit weird because they seem to be impossible to get with two LP, even though they should not be. Like Joras has like a 1.3% chance for two LP, which with, um, but with, with, um, Prophecy bonus should be about 2.7% chance. And when you are running tier 1 Jura, you uh, drop 2 to 3 rings on every run. And I've done so many Juras and reset here. But this would be how a perfect one would look like tier 7 human, tier 5 spell damage twice. Pretty. Then the boots, I changed to Foot of the Mountains. There's a lot of options for the boots. Foot of the Mountains are pretty cool because they give up to 12 all attributes and endurance and do convert our dodge rating to endurance also, which um, Maelstrom gives quite a bit of because it increases um, dodge rating. And right now I have 100 dodge rating on the body armor. We are at 170 dodge rating. And when we uh, look at the threshold, it goes from 800 to, let's say we have about 20 stacks or something. It was up to like, again, like 500 and zones threshold from the boots, pretty much, which is huge. So, very cool defense layer there as well, even on the very offensive side of things. I usually play with cooldown and movement speed. For bossing, I run strength. These aren't that great. They are, well, <laughs> they could be a lot better with 16 attunement, 8 strength, or something like that. We didn't really change much about the Heart of Ocarus. 
but I currently, I mean, I mean, I'm not happy with it, but I've done so many and have it but once, so yeah, this is what we currently are using. I don't know, I did try a lot it there, but yeah, but the rings just farm tier one Jura, get the rings, slam tier seven attunement, tier seven spell damage, something in that direction on it, you're golden. And for the belt, I have played with, I guess you have the Quiet Forest for a long time, which is a very, very good defensive belt, has a lot of armor, good resistances, easy to find with two or three LP, so very, very good base. Um, then Thornslinger is a possibility as well, because it does give levels to Maelstrom, Weirbeer, and Tornado, which is pretty good. Um, but the version I currently am going with is the Communion of the Erased. I have tried a lot of them, and currently the best one I have is a tier 5 uh, lightning damage. And you for the damage you just need lightning damage and a high more damage to stunt enemies. You would want this on 14% with a tier 7 lightning damage, which would be perfect. Like there's no better. Also, it does double the stats for one second after using a potion. So when you get your kill time down to that, then you can really get this buff up for quite a bit of the fight, especially when you have four potions. Or when you are running a different glob setup. Because while Hand of Judgment is very, very good because it has an inherent tier 7 attunement role, you can um, use rare or exalted gloves as well with better mods or battling of the erased. Because if you have uh, six, um, six all attributes with decent cast speed, it actually has very, very strong potential for. Um, Good mods like if you get armor shred, attunement, cast bait, something like that onto these with tier 70, 75, or tier whatever, like that, you have very, very strong gloves, and you do also get one more potion slot from communion of the array. So there's a lot of options there. Then for the helmet, you can just go with a normal one. I did hit a very, very strong peak of the mountain, so I kept this one. Um, it does also give some more room for changing the tree away from crit, because you don't need the rush stalker nodes anymore. But generally, for the helmet, I think pick up the mountain is very good, but not necessary at all. You could just run something like um, the ancestral crown because it has endurance and endurance threshold by quite a bit um, increased, and then. Like there's other options like the mana helmet or the what's called the base crit helmet there's quite some options or you could go with a prismatic gaze but it's pretty much impossible to get it with 2lp and you would need to change the setup quite a bit to actually trigger it so i'm not sure if it's worth at all then for the body armor there is tons of options like the big four of the big five, six, whatever. The big five are these. Um, it's six. So, Titan's Heart and Word of Nothing are the two very, very defensive options. Very strong, extremely good. For clearing, I would always run Titan's Heart. And there is no better body for um, than Titan's Heart when you just want defense. There's fifteen percent less damage taken, loads of armor, easy to find with two or three LP. I have a bunch of two LP ones. Yeah, quite easy to find with three as well if you really want to. Then Wall of Nothing is a very very strong ward body, but you would have to change your gear or wall quite a bit to accommodate for that. But it does enable like the dual wielding with the with the X that gives to intelligence as well like there's quite a few options but um stronger in the strength st stacking variant i do think then we have the caught the mountain really good uh, body armor a lot of all attributes gives endurance and the damage immunity is quite interesting however pretty much impossible to find on two three lp so i don't know and then you have to hit a good prefix for damage so quite difficult to get a good one there 
Then we have the three damage bodies, which is the Orsal's Pride, Camaro's Cage, and the Static Shell. Static Shell, I would only play if, I, if it has 13% or more, more lightning damage to shocked enemies. And then Camaro's and Orsal's uh, somewhat hold a bar, because um, Camaro's has 5 strength, while Orsal's has up to 15. Orsal's also does have mana, but Camaro's have up to 120. No, 105% elemental damage, which is about a tier 6 mod with spell damage. So, yeah, both of these are very, very good options. I like it. And I have tried both and pretty damn running in Ozil's, but that both are very good. I'd use the one I'd find first and get a good slam on. Um, a perfect slam would be plus 4 Maelstrom, plus 2 Tornado. And then. Any suffix really, anything usable. That's pretty much about the body arm. So for the amulet, there are much to say about. You just want for good mods, you could technically run a nihilus, but I do think nihilus is a lot better when you can utilize the more armor as well. And in this version, we don't really care about that. So. Um, the most interesting version actually I found was an Eye of the Storm, but you do need uh, a good 2 LP hit with one that has 8% increased lightning damage per active Maelstrom because then it acts as about 2 tier 7 mods to have like 25 Maelstrom stacks, which is very, very strong. Um, but then you need 2 um, LP on it and hit 2 prefixes or 1 good prefixes and armor shred, which is quite difficult to hit, but possible, but yeah. Very, very strong amulet if you do hit a good eye of the storms. Otherwise, just look for lightning damage, lightning penetration, cast speed, crit multi, anything in the direction. There's a lot of options. Bell damage as well. And yeah, for the base, you would want a cast speed base for damage or one of them. But yeah, cast speed would be perfect. Then let's talk about the skill tree a bit because I have done some small changes but just to accommodate for more damage i have taken out life for damage here i have taken the totemic fury here just so that i can put a um, dawn totem up it just gives me 25 percent cast speed quite a bit it holds for six seconds so five points or six points for 25 percent cast speed is very good and take a look at stuff like wind in the list which is 15 for five points so nearly double that um then i have put out the points into avatar of thunder i have taken out dagon's wrath because i've got the points here and i swapped my bush stalker the rest pretty much is the same so this is more or less the gearing we have Two more parts to look at actually the one uh the staff actually there isn't really much that changes from the staff because you always want to have the highest damage staff but i'm using crit multi cast speed mana a lightning pen but i do think one with crit multi tier seven cast speed tier five and then spell damage or mana as uh as a sealed modifier with tier four and then lightning penetration tier 5 would be the best save. And there's quite a few bases that are viable, but I do like Dragon Staff because without Dragon Staff, we would be pushed more into Nihilist a bit because we would need quite a bit more skill points here. Then for the idols, well, we would just want spell damage for Stormbolt and then damage increase here, some damage and health. Yeah, health armor, health mana, lightning damage. You could go with mana, lightning damage, and all of these, which would be the highest damage. They have like such a small impact that find those. For the blessings, we use shred lightning resistance here. You could go with mana also. Could go with um regeneration. Let's have it. Health regeneration here, pretty good as well. 
we have armor and armor there isn't really good offensive options all res and here we have quick multiplier would be health or the health dodge rating would be usable as well but other than that it here we run experience is relevant so yeah that's pretty much everything i want to talk about just a quick video of how you can gear your high dps stormbolt variant i will put the current setup as the planner into the comments and you can take a look so i will not put a build planner for all the options i'll just put one there you go thanks for watching see you on the next one